Hi there, this is Rich Croft, your sales conversion specialist coming to you from Long Beach, California, and I'm standing in the Hyatt Regency where I've just stepped out a, a few minutes ago and I've done a few videos. I'm just doing another one on sales conversion, my favorite topic. And you know, today I want to talk to you about one of those fundamental steps of starting off on the right foot, and it's called your sales process. If you're in real estate, this is really important that you understand what your sales process is. Now once you've actually gotten the place where you know that they're a prospect, that they've got an agenda, and they're at the information stage, or they could be at the emotional stage, or shifting in that way, you have to turn around and start asking the questions and taking them through the process. People say, well, what's the process, Rich? Well, you know, it's really simple. When I started to work with buyers, I said, look, I've got a five-step buyer program that I'm gonna take you through. It's gonna help you get a great home in a, in a reasonable amount of time, and make sure that you get good value for your money. Hmm, I set the stage. If they were a seller, I'd say, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, I can appreciate that you want to sell your home. And I want to bet you, you know, if you're like me, you probably want to get the top dollar that you can for this home. And my goal for you is that we do that. And it's all depending on what the market's doing the day that we want to sell, because the buyer's got to be there. And it's a supply and demand thing. So I'm going to t put together the right series of events that are going to cause the highest dollar factor to happen for your home. So when you sell it, you're getting the best value you can for the money. So remember, in your process, you're going to help the client get those series of questions so they can get clear about what they're doing. If you're not helping them, they're going to turn around and feel abandoned, especially if they move to the emotional stage. See it every day. Think about this and write this one down. If, you haven't, you know, not, uh, if you're not used to this kind of comment, you're going to hear it from me. We have a seven-step buyer program that you've got to take a buyer through um, to get a buyer to, so to buy. Whether they're buying or whether you're selling a home and they're going to sign a listing, it's seven steps. And I've got to tell you, as a, as a real estate agent, if you're at step three and they're at step five, um, they're out there on their own and they will find another person that will help them make the purchase or the sale. And so you've got to know that you've got to pace with them. You've got to stay with them. If you turn around and you are not leading them through the process, they'll find somebody else to do it and you're going to lose out. You're not going to get the money that you want, you're not going to make the income you want, and it's not going to be fun. Now, if you're going too far ahead of them, saying, come, come, come with me, come with me, let's go, let's go look at homes, and you're starting to go like that, you've got to know that's called pushing. <laughs> no one in their right mind likes to be pushed. Now, guiding's different, but pushing's got that, come on, sense of urgency, let's go. And that individual will resist you at all costs. So you get two problems here that show up. One is you're going to be pushy, in their mind if they're going to derail and go with someone else or two you're going to abandon them because they're going faster than you are and they will find someone else either way you've done a lot of work to get the client up to that stage and you haven't matched them effectively you've lost them well that's just not fun at all so let's not do any one of those because that's not going to work at all and once you're going through your sales process you know that if you're matching them effectively in the end what's going to take place is you're going to get to the place where they're going to say okay i'm ready to sign I'm ready to make the purchase. I'm ready to you know, make the sale. That's exactly what you're looking for. Of course, you're gonna use the stump up closes. You're gonna have different types of things you're gonna do. But if you're matching your client, you won't have to pressure that hard. You're gonna get some resistance. You're gonna, in the form of buying signals. Oh, but, and buying signals, by the way, are what we call objection handling. So if you've never heard the word buying signal, every time that you get an objection, I want you to put that in the back of your brain that your client is now asking for you to help them with something they're thinking about so they can make a purchase, because that's what they're doing. That's a buying signal. That's all objections are. They're gonna show up probably, and unless you've an answered them all in, in advance, and that's a whole different video, I'll get into that. So in your sales process, you got a discovery. You've got a sales process that's gonna turn around and actually talk to them about the prospect interview, and you're gonna take them all the way down the prospect interview, four or five different steps of things that you're gonna do, including talking to them about how you work together, when you work together, um, and what you need to do, and the steps that you're gonna take in your process. And at the very end, they're gonna get things going, sales made, everybody's happy and we get paid, right? That's what we're talking about. Now, think about what kind of process you have. Start writing down what you already got. Take a pen, go, I start here, I usually go to that, I usually do this, and, and start keeping track of how things go. You know, if you're having great and you really find out that you're getting a lot of people starting with you, but you can't really move them on farther down the line, chances are your sales process has got a few little words that it needs to change or a few little processes that you need to change to get the results you want. Sales conversion, it makes a difference on what you do and how you do it and when you do it. So how do I know so much about all this? Well, I gotta tell you, I've been in sales forever and a day, and at the bottom end of whatever I do, I try and take a look at how hard I've worked and what I kind of produce. 
in real estate it's no different. If you have 10 ideal clients that you're working with, 10 ideal buyers, and only two of them get to the place where they purchase from you, that means that out of 10, you've got two, so you've got 20% of the people that are, are actually working. It's called sales conversion. Most people that start with me have a three or four, maybe, maybe even as high as five out of 10 that'll actually be able to convert of an ideal client in real estate. And what I do with that is I turn around and teach them the secret tips, the 21 secret tips that I actually disclose in my uh, unique selling proposition called the Unstoppable Sales Conversion System. And I teach people what they need to do to get it up to seven, eight, and nine out of 10. Because you know the people in your office that are at the top of the, uh, what I call food chain, the people that are doing exceptionally well, will get nine out of 10 almost all the time and they can produce a result faster. And that's exciting because that means they're more efficient. They're making more dollars per hour, less stress, less concern, and it's really wonderful for you to have that in your, your life. So please take a look at the link below. It's called the Unstoppable Sales Conversion System. And if you've got any questions, I'd love to have them in the comments. And uh, if you're liking this would be awesome. I really appreciate it. And if you would like to see more uh, videos along this line as we continue to roll out the information on the Unstoppable Sales Conversion System, please leave a comment saying, Rich, I need more information on that. I'll do my best to produce another video so you can take a look at it. This is Rich Groff coming to you from uh, Long Beach, California, and I'm in the Hyatt Regency, and I'm overlooking as the sun goes down. It's an awesome view. I look forward to seeing you folks later.